What's up guys, this is Nick here from Everything Tech and with all the Chromebooks that are currently on the market, can a $150 to $170 Chromebook be worth your hard buying dollar? We're going to find out in this video, right here, right now. So I want to mention with you guys real quick that uh, this video is not really an Acer CB3 111, whatever the name of this Chromebook is, um, review. This, we're just going to chill out. We're going to talk about, is a Chromebook a great value at the $150 to $170 mark? And this is an example of it. Now, if you guys want to see a Acer CB3 111 review on this particular model, then go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll try to get to that one so we could talk the specs in this particular model as well. Now I will leave a link to Amazon for this uh, particular Chromebook if you like what you see, like just in this video, I'll leave that down below so you can go check out the specs and maybe you wanna pick one up or not, that's totally up to you. But uh, for this video, let's talk about the Chromebook at $150 and I think it's a great value and I'm going to explain why. Now first off, if you're going to go ahead and spend $150 to $200 on a Chromebook, expect it to be not at the level of like a super, you know, premium device. It's going to be a great solid device, but you're going to hear this plastic and most of them you might say, well that's the Acer. Most of them in this price range are going to have plastic and they're going to be of a cheaper build. Now an example of a cheaper build on this one you can see the screws like that's kind of tacky in my opinion to see the screws hanging out like that where I can just unscrew everything real easily. They're kind of hidden in premium devices you won't see all these kind of screws and this looks a little bit you know not well thought out just kind of thrown together. But uh, that's not the point about Chrome OS. Chrome OS is really the, the what shines on this baby. Now, what I will say about these Chromebooks is that they're very light, so they're going to be great for a student. As you can see, I have my uh, laptop. I'm going to grab my laptop over here. Here is the big boy. Now, as you can see, this is a huge laptop. Now, if I throw in the Chromebook, you can see there's absolutely no comparison. And whereas this this laptop weighs about five pounds, this baby weighs about two pounds. So this is probably like maybe an iPad and a half, maybe two iPads together if you were holding them in weight, I would say. But uh, what really shines with the Chromebook is just say you're going to go to the coffee shop. Say you're going to go to Starbucks. Say you're in school, you're in a lecture hall. Or say you're just, you know, out and about and you just happen to have a Wi-Fi hotspot in the area. You're just going to... Take your Chromebook, slip it in your book bag, and it'll slide right in, unless you got a cheap small book bag that doesn't hold anything but a, a journal. But that's besides the point. So if you open it up, this is the great thing about Chrome OS. You open it up, and bam, it just fires right up. Let me put that thing up. And you can browse as guests, so if you're like, yo, you need to use your computer, you can see on all Chromebooks, you could just browse as guests real quick. Now. Like I say, if you know Chrome OS, you're going to know most of this stuff I'm talking about is kind of, you know, amateur. It's not really, you know, expert level. But I just want to point out what I think about the Chrome OS for all of you, like, saying maybe it's worth it at this price point. Now, what's great about it is, as you can see on here, on the stickers, it says long battery life. And I can attest that this is very true. Um, this one right here gets about eight to nine hours, you know, before it kicks out. But I'm going to hit browse as guests because I don't want to type my password real quick. But as you can see, it's going to be a very simple, clean OS. It goes right into Chrome. And as you can see, it's just a few apps. You know, it's Chrome, Help Files, and the regular one, you get the Chrome Web Store. But basically, all Chrome OS is, is a web browser, the Chrome browser, with a few options here and there. And you can download some web app stores. Now, all the apps are mostly going to be from the internet, the Chrome Web Store. They're not gonna be dedicated apps like on Windows. And this thing doesn't uh, open up programs and things like that, like full programs like Adobe, Adobe. Did I just say Adobe with a chicken? I mean uh, Adobe, like Adobe Photoshop and things like that and, you know, major programs download. So this is gonna be more of an internet browser, kind of like a tablet, but it gives you the keyboard experience. But uh, I would say it's better than a tablet because this is more like the full internet. It's basically Chrome and Chrome OS, Chrome browser, and a keyboard. 
with a screen and a trackpad. So basically you got yourself a quick, speedy little laptop. And yes, I said speedy because if you look, I type in Google, things just fly right open. Now, yeah, it's going to be depend on your web connection, but as you can see, it's nice and speedy. And things generally throughout this OS just work nice and speedy. As you can see, there's no hiccup here and there. I'm clicking through this really fast. And the keyboard response time is really good on uh, this laptop. And it could be on any, you know, Chromebook. Most of them are like this. I haven't, and I could say most of them because I've tested out others. I also have a Toshiba Chromebook as well. And I've tried out other people's Chromebooks and they're all pretty on point. As you can see down here, it's got a nice simple menu for you know, guest, browser, things like that. But uh, yeah, and you can also multitask. You can split these uh, screens back, like like down the middle, like right here. Now I have a video on top five Chromebook tips and tricks. I'll leave that in a card up here on your right side, or I'll leave a link down in the description if you wanna go check out my tips and tricks on the Chromebook OS, which could help you out on a few little cool little things. They're not very expert level tips. They're just, you know, little things you might not have known about your Chromebook. And uh, yeah, so build hardware, cheap, but it doesn't it's, it doesn't feel like uh, super cheap. Like, oh my God, this is a piece of crap. It feels like I got what I paid for. It feels like I got a great value kind of cheap. Boot up speed is fast. Battery life is great. Keyboard is tactile. Oh, okay, it's not a MacBook keyboard, but it's still tactile. And uh, size and weight, great for a, a laptop, um, you know, to take on the go for Wi-Fi hotspot, slip in your backpack. Maybe you're going skateboarding or you're going bike bicycle riding or one of those things. It's not going to weigh you down on those tasks. Also, maybe if you go camping or something, you need something light to take on the go. Now, this is, like I say, it's not a workhorse machine, but it's going to get the job done for those light tasks. And uh, so, yeah. Is $150 to $170 Chromebook worth the value? You might have seen this. You might have seen some Samsungs, maybe some Asus's in this price range. And I would say, yes, go for it. You're not going to regret it. Now, if you want to spend a little bit more money, you can get a bigger one, but that really takes away from the smaller, light and portable ones. And that's a whole different story there. But all Chromebooks are pretty good value. But I would say, yes, if you're thinking about buying a $150 to $170 Chromebook, go ahead and take the leap you're going to be happy and that's pretty much all this video was about yeah kind of rambling but not necessarily because i have experience with this chromebook and i could tell you that a chromebook in this price range you are going to enjoy now like i said this is the cb3 111 if you want to check this one out on amazon i'll leave that link down below in the description and uh any suggestions on any future videos about chromebook go ahead and uh leave that in the comments down below i love to get in the chat with you guys and uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up down below. It takes only a second and it really helps out the channel a lot. And uh, subscribe for more videos on everything tech. And uh, I look forward to seeing the next episode. Peace out.